<coughs> my fellow, my fellow American, this is a bumbling disservice pronouncement from the Republican caste counting deployment of America. Hello, I am Todd Snyder, and I am a hardworking American. been collecting songs by my friends because I'm a folk singer by trade and so I'm always around people who the people I'm around work on songs all day that's what they do so I had this pile of songs that I had always saved for some kind of event I kind of was hoping this day would come in some way and so he delivered a batch of these songs to us and along with the batch of songs was sort of an idea that the songs could be arranged to represent a uh, a person's life, um, the way they traveled. It's kind of like a, a movie, like a biography about a person. There was certainly a, a motif that, that was to run throughout the whole album. And, you know, the name of the band ties into it too, you know. Hardworking Americans, welfare music, like kind of, you know, an everyday, every man kind of um, ethos, you know, kind of is a thread that runs through all these songs. David Schools, I've idolized him. He's, he's my age, I think, but I've looked up to him since I started touring, and I've always seen him as like a leader in my generation. That's what I was telling Chad about when we decided, fuck it, you know, you know him, what if he want to jam with you? He might, you know? Todd is, Todd has really blown me away. Todd, I mean, I didn't, I had heard a little bit from him. You can't fake it, it's, he's, he's really living it. He is that songwriter who just, puts himself in the story, whether he wrote it or whether someone else wrote it, he puts himself in that story and really brings that story out. Me and my baby, we call the shots around here. Dwayne, I didn't know it all, but I'd heard good things, of course, and he's got the best name in music history, Dwayne Trucks, I mean, you know, how do you say no to that? <laughs> Neil, you know, I, I want to show him the list sometime. When, when we were looking for uh, guitar players, I generated a list of maybe 30 guitar players. Neil's name was at the top of that, and it's, it's a pretty impressive list, and it's, it's really cool that he ended up being the guitar player. Chad Staley is a, a remarkable keyboard player, a amazing pianist, knows exactly what to play, what not to play, understands the scope of a song. So he understands Todd, and that's really, really important. Uh, being able to give the artist, songwriter, the space he needs to do his craft is, uh, it's important, and not everybody gets that. You hate me, don't you? I love you. <laughs> what I came to do, sing. Maybe not quite as up as this one is. Oh, now I hate you. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> the first playback, I think everyone was like, okay, I think this is going to work. The second playback, it was on. <laughs> <laughs>
I go out there, grab a guitar, play the song sort of where it's coming, like in a, from a guttural place, and then they find that beat. And usually then someone will say, hey, I have this idea, it's probably really stupid, or you guys might not like this idea, or, and then as soon as that comes out, it just starts heading. You know, that's the way it goes. <laughs> mess around with the feel of a lot of the songs and sometimes we turn them on their head. It's a new band and hasn't really ever played together so we really had some interesting things uh, come about in the studio. For the most part we were really striving to go somewhere else with the songs and to really take them in to places they've never been and to expand them you know to do that you just have to be you have to be willing to take an adventure you know and I'm all about that Overall, my, my whole feeling about this project is just that I'm elated, not really surprised, but elated that everybody played so well together, and it's because uh, they listen. They're pros. That's one of the great things about music, is just, like, you can make friends that way, you know, just get people that you know about together and, and it's, see, if it, see if it'll work. The sound of the band has been the biggest surprise. You know, it was funny, I think it was Dwayne a couple days ago said, you know, I thought I was getting a call to come do a folk Americana project and we've kind of like come to this like pretty heavy rock sound. It's re really surprising to see with a group of professionals like this, everyone to just kind of like back off and have no ego involved and just like, hey, what works for the song? Todd, does this feel okay? And Todd's like, yeah, this feels great. All right, hit record. None of them sound anywhere near like the originals, which is also what we were intending to do, to try to make it sound like one band was, just take the script, you know, and then the rest was going to be the hard work in Americans. Mm -hmm. 